Well, Jen, I'm actually here at Murphy's Tap Room in Manchester. They're setting up for what looks like it's going to be a party tonight. This is campaign headquarters for Congressman Frank Ginta, and he was looking pretty confident when I caught up with him earlier today. He was greeting voters at Hood Middle School in Derry, and Ginta is defending his seat representing New Hampshire's first congressional district. Last year, the Federal Election Commission found him, uh, found that he illegally accepted a $355,000 donation from his parents during his 2000. 10 campaign. But Ginta says he's done good work in Congress. He's supported bipartisan legislation to fight the drug crisis. And he says he knows that voters will remember that this evening. Now for more on the man who is running against Congressman Ginta tonight, I'm going to send it on over to my colleague Jen Crompton, who is live in Manchester. Jen. Rich Ashew says he's feeling great and feels invigorated by getting out and seeing so many voters today. In fact, he started at 7 this morning, hitting the polls. The father of five from Bedford is challenging incumbent Frank Ginta, running on a promise of trust and integrity. Ashew says Ginta has not delivered results on important issues like balancing the budget, veterans affairs and immigration. He spent 20 years as a senior executive at BAE Systems and says he's used to delivering results. We're here at Fratello's restaurant in Manchester. We'll be here throughout the evening as those results come in and they're hoping here that they'll be celebrating in not too many hours. Reporting for now live in Manchester, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.